Hello, I'm Leila McKinnon. Welcome to A Current Affair. Once the poster boy of a mega church, now fighting to clear his name, Brian Houston's fronted court today for allegedly concealing his father's abuse. Steve Marshall was there. Morning, Mr Houston. Do you have anything to say ahead of your court day today? This isn't the spotlight Brian Houston's used to. Do you have anything to say to the victims of your father? The global performing pastor losing his bearings amid an intense media scrum at Sydney's Downing Centre Courts. Anything to say, Mr Houston? Yeah, which way do you go? <laughs> Leaving here without a conviction at the end of this 14-day hearing could be Houston's biggest challenge, according to former Hillsong Insider turned victim's advocate Donald Alley. When you looked across at Brian Houston yeah. in court today, what, what did you see? Incredibly stressed out. Uh, he doesn't know which way it's going to run, no one does, but it's a, it's a sorry tale, the whole thing. Houston faces up to five years in jail if a magistrate finds him guilty of concealing a serious indictable offence. Not telling police his late father preacher Frank Houston sexually abused Brett Sengstock in the 1970s, who was seven years old at the time. Mr Sengstock spoke to 60 Minutes about his ordeal at the hands of Frank Houston in 2018. I could not speak, I couldn't scream, I couldn't push back, I just went rigid and I couldn't breathe. I was petrified. Today, Brett Sinstock waived his rights to court-ordered anonymity. On the stand, he described an attempt by Frank Houston to buy his silence on the back of a signed serviette when he met him and another pastor at a cafe. He was eating and had a napkin. It was sort of scrunched up with food all on it. And he said, sign here, sign here. Frank said the same thing. It will all be over with. You'll get your money. Donna, we just saw Brett Sinstock yeah. come out. Um, as a witness, how did he appear to you? He did well. He, was, he, was, he got a little emotional, but that's to be expected. Uh, he's a pretty broken guy. At the heart of this case is one crucial question. Did Brian Houston have a reasonable excuse not to tell police about his father's sexual abuse of a seven-year-old boy? Houston strenuously denies the charge of concealing his late father's offence. Do you believe these are trumped-up charges? The globetrotting pastor says he didn't learn about his dad's sexual abuse against boys until 1999. And once it was made public, it wasn't just him that knew about it. There is no doubt about it. Before Frank Houston died, tens of thousands of people knew about his offending, including police officers. The prosecution pointed to an interview Houston gave to Nine's Inside Story, telling the court he knew in 1999 his father's act was criminal. We didn't cover it up. We did tell people straight away. We did make, take his credential off him. He never did preach again. And uh, we did oversee and ensure that he was never put in a position to be close to kids to be able to do that again. What we didn't do is report it to the police. Brian Houston was president of the National Body of Assembly of God Churches when Frank came clean on his pedophilia. Houston says he never reported it to authorities because Senstock agreed to a secret $10,000 compensation payout and it was Senstock who did not want the matter to go any further. Yes, OK, I'll get the money to you. You know it's your fault all this happened. You tempted my father. How poignant was it having Brett Senstock and Brian Houston in the same courtroom together? I think Brian would find that very confronting. And I think Brett, Brett would have found that difficult in some ways. Although I think he's happy to, to have his day in, in court, so to speak. The court also heard allegations of threatening behaviour from former bikey and ex-con turned committed churchgoer Kevin Mad Dog Mudford towards Sinstock. Well, who's bananas for Jesus? Hallelujah. There you go. Praise God. Who organised Mad Dog to go and visit the victim? What do you think the next 13 days have in store for us? Uh, we, we, no one knows. Do you still have a valid excuse for not telling authorities about your dad's pedophilia? The hearing is expected to take two weeks. He's the